All right, <clears throat> so this is part two for the After Dark reading. Um, I'm going to pull a card for y'all. Uh, after um a past life card for you guys but i forgot to pull um a message for the karmic from this deck right here so let me go ahead give me a message for this karmic because i did one for the collector i forgot the karmic so collector for some of y'all y'all might forget about this karmic after dark hours tonight <laughs> and it's because the karmic caused you burdens so something gonna work out in y'all favor So, I'm going to give y'all an example. Collective, say like um, this karmic offended y'all earlier. Um, the karmic did something. And collective, you're so preoccupied with trying to clean up the mess that karmic caused. It's like collective, say like you normally have to go pick up the karmic from work like at midnight. Collective, you so burdened because of something the karmic did. It's like you won't forget all about the karmic. <laughs> So it's like collective, the karmic like might be straining at work for like an extra two hours or something like that. <laughs> so y'all might forget about this karmic. <laughs> so unprofessional. So this karmic could be unprofessional and something going on with love. Or collective, maybe this karmic was judging you because you're unprofessional. Or something about you is not like official. But you still have love. So the karmic's love could be unprofessional. Or this karmic was judging y'all because y'all unprofessional. So something going on with the 5D. And hellbound. Yeah. So this karmic had fake love. Yeah. So this karmic could have also been doing dark magic on y'all too. So the karmic is like an unprofessional concerning the 5D. So the 5D considered this karmic unprofessional. Or this karmic be doing something unprofessional on the 5D. So this karmic could have been also trying to con conjure or conjure in the past a succubus spirit, a sex demon or something. So collective, this karmic was trying to like defeat you, take your spouse from you or get you to like leave your spouse by conjuring a, like a, a entity. And the karmics, whatever this karmic did on the 5D, it was like fake love. And this karmic either hell bound, like if this karmic passed away, this karmic going to hell. Or something this karmic was trying to do with love or say they love somebody, it's going to fail. So this karmic is going to experience failure concerning love or trying to claim they love somebody. Yeah. This karmic could have got had like a sex entity on them or something. And this karmic was trying to say it was love. So I also see an entity or a demon could be getting rebuked as well. And that's why this karmic leaving y'all alone. Because it was the entity that was driving this karmic. So that's another scenario too. So it's like when this entity not bothering this karmic, it's like collective, the karmic don't care nothing about you. But when this entity get on this karmic, this karmic be trying to snake you or something. And it could be something the karmic be conjuring up. Something this karmic be doing on the 5D or something pertaining to the 5D, some type of dark magic or something this karmic be doing. Or this karmic wanted to sex you to death or sex your lover to death or something. Whatever the karmic was doing, it's gonna uh be it's gonna fail. Alright. Give me some give me your after um past life card for uh the collective. So I'm gonna choose two. So phobias. So collective, you can have a phobia because of your past life. You can have some type of phobia. And then we have spirituality and religion. 
So it's two groups of you guys. For some of you guys in your past life, you had some type of phobia. And this same phobia could be carrying over um, to like the present life. So for some of you guys, y'all phobia could be like, um, some of you guys could have had like a, a little, a toxic, uh, a false, it's like false humility or y'all had like a outdated or toxic definition of what humility was. And it's like you had a phobia of rejecting someone. Y'all never liked it to like reject people. Y'all could uh, be a people pleaser because of your uh, past life. So for some of you guys, um, rebuking people is like a phobia to you. And because you had a phobia of actually rebuking people that needed to be rebuked, it's like, that's why there's karmic in your life trying to snake you because you have phobias or something. So spirituality and religion, yeah. So collective, whatever your phobia is, it's either like some type of rebuking that spirit wants y'all to learn how to do. Um, or maybe y'all have a hard time with being in that sword energy. The queen and the king of swords, y'all have a hard time with that energy. And spirit wants y'all to master that in this lifetime. But y'all might learn how to use y'all sword after dark hours tonight dealing with this karmic. And not give a damn. Um, yeah. Um, for some of you guys, these phobias is because of your past life. So some of y'all could literally have a phobia. It could be of like water, fire heights and spirit wants y'all to know it's because of your past life something went on in your past life or something could have went on in your childhood and that's the reason why you have a phobia whatever your phobias are it's because of your past life um other you guys something going on uh collective if you're a religious or a spiritual person like in this lifetime it's because of your past life so it's like you're still uh, bringing that energy. You brought that energy into your present life. So some type of spirituality and religion. So collective, whatever you're into in concerning spirituality and religion, that's what y'all was connected to in y'all past life. Give me, give me, what's going on with this karmic, the snake? What give me a past life put this darn karmic food and hunger? Yeah. So this karmic could have been homeless in their past life. This I heard this karmic in their past life could have died of starvation. Or this karmic was a thief. And this karmic stole people food and caused hunger in the past, in their past life. Transportation. Um, in the karmic's past life, the karmic could have worked for like transportation. In the karmic's past life, something was going on with transportation. Or this karmic could have been a fugitive in their past life. And this karmic um, escaped on a train or something like that. Or this karmic worked in transportation or something like that. Or this karmic was like a beggar or a vagabond. I heard a vagabond. This karmic. Leaving or travel. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. This karmic was like a, a stray, like a fugitive, a vagabond. This karmic could have been homeless in their past life. This karmic probably used to live like on the train tracks or um 
if this karmic was a fugitive, like did crimes and things, this karmic, something going on with a train. Yeah, this karmic was like a traveler. Never stable. Um, I heard Papa was a rolling stone. So this karmic could have been a player in a past life. I also heard if this karmic a female in her past life, this karmic was a man. And this karmic was like Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. So this karmic is like a totally different gender in this lifetime. And they are female. Yeah, this karmic could have been homeless in their past life. Or caused homelessness or hunger. Or this karmic died of star starvation or something in their past life or something. So something like that. All right, so I'm going to end it. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Collective, um, this is part two for the After Dark reading. So if y'all stumble across this reading first, just know it's a part one. So this is part two for the After Dark reading. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And collective, enjoy, and thanks.